I am Kolo Touré and you are watching the Red Men TV. I enjoyed it. I actually did, apart from the last 10 minutes or something, but, you know, moving forward, we played the ball really well. I think there's definitely a partnership to be had with Danny Ings and uh, Danny Sturridge there. Like, they seem to really understand how each other wants the ball, where they want the ball, where they're going to be and stuff like that. There was a couple of occasions. You both in behind. Of course, but, which is nice because now the team kind of know how we're supposed to play football. Um, but moving up through the pitch and stuff, I just thought we were much better today. I think the little change to Lucas sitting a little bit deeper than Milner and Coutinho with both of them bombing on really helped the midfield. You know, I think it gave us more options to attack down either side. You know, we weren't attacking so centrally because Coutinho, maybe if he's in the number 10, you struggle a little bit more because everything's sort of going through the middle, isn't it? It made us bring Moreno into play a little bit more on the left and I, um, Klein on the right hand side of course but you know I, you know what I really found interesting me and Aubrey were talking about it because we were sitting next to each other at the match is that Daniel Sturridge was playing passes to, to Ings whereas if that was Suarez and Suarez had more goals than Sturridge, Sturridge would have probably taken shots on there but Sturridge, Sturridge being the better striker works better because Ings is, Ings is the second striker there's stuff. a couple of moments there as well where he looks like he looks more of a class act because he's actually he's got his goals as well and he's trying to feed he's trying to feed Ings in which is great exactly and you know we want to see more of that now and I think that's the formation first of all we, we played one formation for an entire game there just let that shock in. Just let that fucking in. horror no no you know it, it's good and you could see that the players were getting used to the formation I think it was all helped a little bit and we probably looked a little bit better second half because Aston Villa were looking for a goal you know they needed a point from Anfield and um, you know the fact that they were pushing on meant, meant that Richards and Lescott were left a little bit exposed at times which made Sturridge and Ings look a little bit better than probably they were you know because when, when Villa was sitting with four Five one, we struggled a little bit to break them down. It was dead, like laboured, and we were just a little bit slow Show and lethargic. Exactly, and then just knocked around. Like yeah, so, second half, I think we, I think we looked better because we were in the lead. But that's what you've got to do. You know, the early goal really helped us, and that's what you want to see from Liverpool, isn't it? You know, start like that. The crowd just instantly got into it. Where I was sat, the atmosphere was brilliant all game. Like, um, so and the, and I just want to see for it. me in, ter in terms of the, uh, the crowd and the atmosphere was that last couple of minutes where the crowd got up and started cheering. Yeah, started cheering. And started chanting and the full time whistle like the 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 palpable sense of relief and the and the happiness you know you'd think that everyone be down and doom and gloom and you would think that if you just existed in social media wouldn't you where there's a real sense inside the ground that fuck it we just want to you know but what, whatever about the manager we win some football matches it doesn't really matter at the end of the day we're liverpool fans you know you always want liverpool to win you know i, I don't subscribe to this oh well, would you take a defeat to get rogers out no you know, Rodgers could still lose his job, but Liverpool can still get points. You know, at the end of the day, we've not been good enough this season. You know, time will tell on whether Rodgers gets the boot or not. But just enjoy three points. Go and enjoy the football. Enjoy watching us play attack and football, and just fucking get off the manager's case while we are playing that way. You know if what I mean? He goes, he goes, and you know, and if we ultimately if we start fucking losing games every week, we'll all jump on us back. Continue to jump that, on. That's us the back. point, isn't it? Look, Rodgers might not be the right man for the club, but just enjoy Liverpool getting three points in the Premier League. That's all. That's all we're here for. That's why we pay our fucking money at the end of the day. And every fan in the cop there he was singing and the relief that the 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 let out of the bodies at the end of the day that's why because we just want to see liverpool win games absolutely fully agree chris that's unusual i don't really know what to say from there <laughs> do you play ratings do you for the red men tv outside anfield that liverpool beat aston villa by three goals to two let's put all talk of the manager aside for one moment uh wasn't it boss how we just went yeah that's all right you score a goal because we'll fucking score another one